Okay guys, welcome back to Biscuits Total War. This Biscuits give you an online commentary for Rome Total War, 31k rules, 3 versus 3 on the grassy flatlands. And today we've got an absolute treat in store. We've got some really, really good 31k players joining us tonight. So, I'll quickly go through the guys who we're going up against. We have got uh, GR. Now, who is GR? GR is Greek Leonidas. So it's really, really rare to see this guy online. Absolute pleasure to see him play, and he's absolute um, corker when it comes to using the pikes. And he has brought the Carthaginian, so I can't wait to see how he does this. We've also got another Greek member today. We have got the uh, Greek Cleomedes, who's starred in about 101 of my videos online. He's an absolutely amazing guy when it comes to using pikes on 31k. And then we've also got COH member. All man long so three great 31k players and they're going to be going up against we've got um, Prometheus or aka this is Odin of the Titans clan myself I'm playing as the uh, Skippy I as you can see and then last but not least we've got Titans at what is this Atlas or aka Muhammad of the, the Titans clan so we've got some really really good players here today I'll just quickly outline our battle uh, formation to let you know what we've brought. I've brought 14 Urbans and 6 Praetorian Cav same as Odin, he's done exactly the same and if we have a quick little glance at Muhammad, he's gone for, what is that uh, 16 Royal Pikemen 2 Companion Cav and 2 Crescent Archers, so he's gone really really heavy on the, the infantry and the reason why he's done that is really simple, he's going to be going up against the Greeks and what do you need to do to kill the Greeks with Macedonian pikes? You need just lots and lots of numbers. And that's what Muhammad's going to do. Now, the clawback is that Muhammad has got loads and loads of infantry. The Carthaginians, now the Carthaginians should be able to beat the Macedonians, I believe. So we need to make sure that we're going to give him lots of support, lots of our infantry to help out Muhammad to push back the Carthaginians. And he's going to give us his pikes to take on the Greeks because the Greeks can beat the Romans. Hopefully, if you're following me, that makes perfect sense. If not, don't worry, I'm confusing myself by even just saying that. Anyway, so let's uh, crack on. So what's gone on so far? I've pushed my army straight forward, and what I'm gonna try and do is just prevent the Romans coming to attack. Odin's gonna come in on the flank, and then Muhammad is on his way. It looks like he's gonna split his army into two clusters. One cluster to deal with the, the pikes from the, the Greeks, and the other cluster probably put somewhere else so at the moment let's have a little zoom in there what's going on we're chucking volleys of Pelo it looks like into these Spartans Spartans haven't done or haven't had much damage at all if any damage um, over here in the background looks like the Carthaginians they're running backwards and forwards at the moment they're probably going to try and meet up with their allies on this side I'm going to peel off three of my urbans to try and you know, act as a bit of a deterrent at the end of the day, but trying to hold back the, the Carthaginians. I know these three little urban units aren't going to do much at the end of the day, but I might be able to cause them to go the long way around and buy us a bit of time. In the meantime, what's going on here? The uh, Greeks have run in here to try and charge into these urbans, because as I keep on saying, the Greeks can beat the urbans one versus one. So what Muhammad has done is really, really nice move here. He's ran his pikes in to support the guys, and that's caused the Greeks to run away. Now, as they've run away, Odin's run up, it's loosed some of his peeler, and you can see all the dead bodies here of the uh, Spartans. So, really, really nice move there for Muhammad and Odin. Really well played. On this side, you can see that Muhammad's got the rest of his pikes, and basically, all he's doing at the moment is that he's putting his guys, positioning them around here, just to try and push back this flank here. And then with my guys, what I've done here, I've chucked in two of my urbans, I've put them into Testudo, and the reason why I've done that, I was kind of hoping that Orman Lang might have left his guys on auto fire, and he might have just loosed all of his peeler into these little guys here, but unfortunately he didn't fall for that trick. So, in the meantime, what I've done, I've pushed all of my urbans forward. Again, I'm going to try and throw some more peeler, and try and get some of these Spartans in the flank, cause a bit of damage as and when I can. So, 
they're, quite, they're playing really, really close if you notice the opposition. Both the Carthaginians, the Greeks and the Romans are moving side to side to side to side. And we're also doing this at the same time. What we're trying to do is basically mirror what they're doing. And we want to make sure that if they make any kind of slip up, if there's any areas where we can quickly run in there, maybe get a couple of cheeky kills, that's exactly what we're trying to do at the moment. So, again, I'm going to move my guys right over here. And I'm trying to attack these these Romans at the end of the day. I want to try and keep away from these Greeks. But I want to make sure I've got a few airbins on this flank here. Just to help Mohammed. Just in case the Carthaginians launch attack into his pikes. So hopefully you guys are following me so far. Hopefully it makes sense. But do bear with me. This is an absolutely cracking battle. So, you know, pay attention. So, in the meantime, what's going to go on here? The, the Greeks now running over to this side. And they've been joined... Um, by the Carthaginians. The Carthaginians are running to the other side, so they're going literally backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards from one flank to another flank. Now that the Greeks have amassed up on this side, what's going to happen now is that Muhammad, you'll see, is now going to move his pikes in, and every time we think that these Greeks are about to attack, we're going to send in the pikes. These Macedonian pikes are going to do a really good job in preventing them from aggressively pushing forwards. And every time they move back, every time they move to the side, we have got some archers, I believe, which we're using to shoot down these Spartans and shoot down the backs of the guys as and when we can. So, um, as you can see now, what's happened is that the Carthaginians are now intermingled with the SPQR. And it looks pretty much like the, the, the Greeks are now going to join in. So there are three armies there. Both the Carthaginians, the Greeks and the Romans are now pretty much sitting on top of one another which makes them incredibly strong from the front but what we can try and do is what we're going to try and attempt to do is do a bit of flanking and this is almost like if you guys remember my early videos on the channel I used to do this tactic all the time where it's almost copy the Zulu horns of the buffalo where we'd try and encircle and try and attack from the front and attack from the, the flanks that's exactly what we're going to try and pull off in a few moments. So, in comes the, again, the Greeks. They're moving in. They've noticed that there's no pikes around this area, so they're going to send in their pikes. They're going to try and attack these urbans. Again, what we're going to try and do is throw off a couple more volleys of Peeler, try and kill a few of these isolated Greeks. Once they've been isolated, uh, the Macedonians are then going to probably push forward with their infantry, as you can see. And again, they're just trying to push back these Greeks. We're doing a really, really good job here at the moment as team play, and that's the whole point about 31k at the end of the day. It's all about working together as a team, and it may look really easy when you're watching this if you don't play it, but this does take a while. This takes, you know, a few months worth of experience, so we're able to read the battlefield. We're not having to communicate with one another via Steam or type each other messages. We're just basically mirroring what our teammates are doing and making sure that we're playing well as a team. So you can see Odin now, he's come around the flank here with his infantry, he's done a nice little move there. I'm trying to block this little gap here of my infantry, obviously I don't have much infantry left so I can't really block it up much. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to move in a couple of my infantry just to make sure we've got that little gap all sealed off. I'm, I've done that, now Odin's going to mirror exactly the same thing over here. You see that he's now going to move his infantry around the side. So I've got my infantry in the back to support Muhammad. Um, Odin's got his infantry over to that flank. I've got my infantry in that little gap there where my cursor is. Odin's got more infantry here. Now what I'm going to try and do is move all of my cavalry around the side here. I want to go for a bit of a killer blow at this stage. We're going to try and attack Orman Lang's cavalry here. And you can see Muhammad, he's not even... I'm going to have to tell Muhammad what we're doing. We're all working together as a team. Mohammed's going to run forward, drop down his pikes, push down these Greeks. These Greeks are going to see the pikes and they're going to quickly get out of there because they know they can't take on these pikes. Um, I'm now going to send in my cav and you can see, here we go, within two seconds, Odin, whose army was there, has swung it right around this side here and I'm now going to do exactly the same manoeuvre and swing my guys around. So let's have a look to see what goes on. So Odin's coming in with his cab, I'm coming with my cab, chasing down a few of these archers, and then bang, I'm going to go straight into these guys, I'm going to try and catch some of them off. 
Uh, Greek Cleomedes has seen exactly what we're doing and is trying to push us away. So he's got one of his Spartan units and he's pushed my cav away. But now Muhammad has come in through the flank here. And now you can see we really have started to box them in. So it's the opposite of a new box. We've caused them to box up. We're causing them to shut down. The only way that they can get out of this box formation now is that they have to physically push forwards and that's what they're trying to do at the moment. As you can see these Carthaginians are slowly munching their way through all of these Macedonian pikes but I've got a few urbans in there to try and hold them back to try and prevent them from cutting through. So as you can see we've got Macedonian pikes here, we've got infantry here, everyone's boxed in, our cav is around the back here, I've got my cav here, I've finally managed to fin off, finish off Orman Lang's cav. It's a really really nice maneuver here and now I'm going to chuck in my cav and try and get rid of these Greeks so basically that uh, Muhammad can now push forward with his infantry and try and stop these guys from um, coming into our army. And now what's going to happen now if you look at here Odin's now going to push his guys a bit forward and again we're just going to crunch them we're going to really close this gap close in the box formation um, I don't know what to call this, it's almost like cracking a nut at the end of the day. We've got pressure on all four sides at the moment. And they have slowly, slightly broken out of this box here. So you can see they've won this side of the battlefield. And now what's going to happen now, Cleomedes has seen this. So what he needs to try and do is swing his infantry around and almost try and box us off here. And uh, Ormelag has seen this, so what he's going to do is going to send his cab around the side. And what they want to try and do, they're going to try and smash this side of the box. They want to try and course a bit of a route. So Ormelang is going to get his cab around the side here and charge straight to the back of my guys. Uh, we've seen that, so I'm going to charge in all of my cab here. So everyone's trying to box one another. It really is quite entertaining. Um, it's rare that you see this. So in comes Ormelang's and a really nice charge here. He's charged straight into the back of my guys, into the back of the Macedonians. Um, I have pulled in a couple of my infantry units. I'm now going to try and box the box, if that makes any sense at all. I've chucked in my cav. Uh, we've managed to try and really weaken these units. And now what's going to happen now, uh, Mohammed's now going to send in his infantry here. You can see he's going to send in his Macedonian pikes. And again, it's going all over the place. It'll all try and encircle one another. Over here, my guys have been encircled. But over here, we're encircling them. Um, over here they're encircling my guys over there um, and over here we're encircling their guys so there's four or five big battles going on all over this place and what's really rare about this is all happening probably within about 100 meters radius and uh, normally you know there's battles going over here there's battles going over there but everything is such a tight uh, battle here there's fighting going left right and center it is extremely tight at the moment so this is really entertaining I really enjoyed playing this when we did this game um, so in comes um, Prometheus in comes Odin he's done a nice little cav charge here he's gone straight into the SPQR units the SP SPQR units are now getting their peeler out they're chucking their peeler into the back of these uh, cav units these cav units are dropping like flies but you can see it's really tight over here at this moment. I'm just hanging in there. I've got three units here and I'm trying to take out these um, pike units because you can see the pikes can only really um, attack in one direction and you can see they can't attack in three or four directions. So I'm trying to attack them from this side and from that side. And if we have a look over here, both uh, the Carthaginians and the Greeks are playing really really well together they've managed to uh, kill a few of my units here and now they're going to go in and help the SPQR to try and uh, free up this little side of the battlefield so we can see it's now turning into a bit of a sandwich at the moment we've got the Macedonians and we've got Odin's guys here and my guys are over here they're on their own they're kind of being depleted but what I'm trying to do is trying to take out a few of these urbans a few of these Spartans in as and when I can over here it looks like you know at the end of the day the Macedonians are doing a cracking job at the moment they really are their kill count is going to be really good and uh, they've managed to munch away at nearly all of these Greeks the Cretan archers have been able to do loads and loads of good shots at the end of the day they've managed to shoot the backs of these guys and they can see now the uh, let's have a look at a close up on these sacred bands 
they're going in now for the kill they're able to rout a few of these Macedonians but we have got overwhelming numbers on our side now and what's going to happen now in comes Owner the killer punch he's slaughtering these guys that's going to cause a chain route and that's it guys that's pretty much GG for these guys it was incredibly close it was incredibly well played the opposition played really really well you could see they were watching what we were doing they were pulling their guys away the Greeks were pulling away from the Macedonians and going for the Romans and the, the, the um, Carthaginians were going for the Macedonians at the end of the day and myself and Odin we were trying to counter that as much as possible by getting that nice little envelopment by doing that really good little flank there and I think that's what basically brought us back that victory at the end of the day it could have gone either way the kill count is going to be really close at the end of the day um, even though we've got quite a few men left standing at the end of the day it was a great great battle so what I'll do I'll double speed this for two moments I'm sure the other guys are going to throw in the towel now but I really hope you enjoy that let's have a little look at the devastation all of these dead bodies all over the place it's been absolute carnage um, so it was a clear victory but to be honest I felt that it's more of an average close victory if you look at the Carthaginians you look at uh, Greek Leonidas he got nearly 1600 kills Orman Long about a thousand kills Greek Cleomedes got about 1300 kills and if you have a look at myself and Odin you know we've got in about a thousand kills but if you have a look the star of the day was down to uh, Titans uh, at what's his face Titans Muhammad or Atlas whatever you want to call him whatever he's calling himself did really really well and to be honest you're going to find it hard to find better battles better tactics for 31k on YouTube so I hope you guys really enjoyed that because it was some really good players who were taking part in that battle and it was really close at the end of the day it wasn't spread out over the battlefield everything happened in really close proximity to one another so guys let me know what you think of that battle if you really enjoyed it like i enjoyed it leave a little comment please don't forget to like it and share the video to your friends and also guys if you haven't already subscribed please do there's plenty and plenty and plenty of more rome told to war to come so stay tuned for the next installment of rome told to war in the meantime this is going to be biscuit signing off wishing you all the best and i'll catch you guys soon okay Bye now.